Hello everyone, this is Duke the Porcupine, and today we will be doing a tutorial on farming in Stardew Valley. This video will consist of strategies to gain the most with the crops you have, and which crops are best. Hope this proves helpful, and that you guys enjoy it. Farming is one of the major aspects of Stardew Valley, with a wide variety of crops that can be planted and grown each season. But how can you get the most out of your crops? Which crops are the best? These questions will all be answered shortly. First off, you need to know which fruits, flowers, and or vegetables you want to grow. Once you choose one, you need to use the hoe to plow areas to plant these seeds. Before you plant, make sure to put fertilizer down to gain the most benefits once you harvest. Fertilizer increases the chances of harvesting a higher quality crop. Fertilizer can either be crafted or bought. It is crafted using two sap, and you can get this sap by cutting down trees. Luck plays a huge role in crops. Luck can increase the quality of crops you harvest. Silver Star gives 125% cell value and 140% energy and health value. Gold Star gives 150% cell value and 180% energy and health value. Running or walking over crops doesn't damage them, though it will slow your movement speed down. You can refill the water pail in the pond near your house, or any source of water. If you accidentally hoed a spot you didn't mean to, you can either use the pickaxe to return the soil back to normal, or leave the spot alone for a few days, and it will return back to normal. A scarecrow is also necessary, as crows can eat seeds before they grow. A scarecrow has a radius of 8 squares, so it covers a pretty good size area. The best place to buy seeds is from Piers, as Piers sells seeds for cheaper than Jojo Mart. It seems that the money crop for each season is different types of berries. Strawberries are the best value for spring. The one issue is you need to buy these at the egg festival in spring, so it's more of an investment for year two. Save these seeds in a chest until then. For year one in spring, cauliflower is the best investment possible. Blueberries are the money crop during summer, and cranberries are the money crop during fall. No crops can be grown during winter unless you have a greenhouse. Spoilers! Mute your sound to avoid spoilers for the next five seconds. You get the greenhouse by completing the pantry section of the community center. More on the greenhouse in a future video. If you are planting pumpkins, melons, or cauliflower, plant them in a 3 by 3 square. This can sometimes, very rarely, reward you with a giant crop that you can harvest with your axe. It will give you more than the 9 crops that you initially planted upon harvesting. If you plan on planting berries, or any crops in general really, think about using sprinklers. Quality or iridium sprinklers are the best to water them. Since the iridium sprinklers can be very difficult to get and very costly, it is best to go with quality sprinklers, as they aren't too expensive. This can save you valuable time and energy that you can use on other activities. One way to increase your profit with your crops is with preserve jars. Preserve jars turn your crops into pickled or jelly products increases the sell price by over two times the original sell price. Preserve jars are unlocked once you reach level four in farming. Kegs actually provide the most profit in farming, but require the player to be level eight in farming to produce them. Well, this concludes this tutorial on farming in Stardew Valley. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.